Hello guys, this is Anushuja with another tutorial and this is on how I made a cape. So, uh, let me show you how it works, uh, how it looks. Like so. And if I show you like this, looks pretty good. You um, can always change the settings. I'm just going to show you the basics and how to get it working like this. Um, so, uh, let's just delete that and delete that and OK, start over. So, first of all, press E, go to snap settings, quantity size, change it to 3.125 and disable it uh, because then we can hold shift and we can move it 3.125 centimeters. And if you just move it normally, it doesn't snap. So. I like to do that. Okay, so make a cube, uh, 75, 20, 50, 25, um, 8, and oh, no, this is the body, so yeah, just, just make it like that. Copy and paste, this is gonna be the cape. Um, so 125, and 3.125, and 8 and 8, like so, and then we have the cape. So go to function F3, uh, if you have a Mac, function F3, if you have a Windows, just F3, and just move this, oh, go to coordinates and change this to, uh, to 5 also. So now it's rotated a little, and then off this so it doesn't move on the x-axis, and just move it really close to the top of the body. Uh, just zoom in really far in and then it it's pretty accurate um, this is what I do if something's out of position and it, it you won't see that there's a small gap there so now I make keep and oh body okay uh, so now we can press C on both of them to make them editable and simulation cloth collider and simulation tag cloth and simulation and cloth belt. And another thing, first of all, plane object change this to 50 and 125 and 0 and 0. And actually, I will do this later. Um, and minus C, important minus C. Um, I'll I'll do that later. Uh, okay. So the cape. Let's make this, let's make a texture for it. So soft specular. What I like to do is make it in Cinema 4D so that so that when I send it to people, he they I don't have to send them the, the textures because it's made in Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna make a very colorful cape. And randomize. <laughs> so that's basically it. And then you can, if you like, you can just make it better, maybe different, or whatever. <laughs> um, then you can UV map it and stuff. So don't worry. Um, so okay, belt. Click on the belt. Select. Uh, click on the belt. Drag in the body onto the belt arm, which which is telling. We want some. Uh, what the belt does is we can set some points to attach to an object. Uh, so the belt, select the belt, select the cape and the belt, and go to edge mode. Select the top. So we want these points to attach to the body. So then we hit set and off draw. Um, what draw does it is it gives the yellow outline. So just off it. Uh, so we, yeah, it looks better. And now it is attached to the cube, uh, so it doesn't just fall down. And now we need to just mess around with the cloth settings. What I like to set it at is go to expert off edge collision um, force. I don't have, I don't really need much wind and stuff in my scenes. So just everything at zero. But if you have want some wind, you can always set it. So twenty literations. Flexion at 100. I don't like to have bouncing friction. And 
Same for the cloud collider, change it at zero and zero. And now we have the cape. Kind of very, f yeah. And, and as you can see, it's going through the body a little. So what? That's why I made this other plane. Um, so this plane, uh, we will put it right around here. Rotate it. Make sure the z-axis. Um, it's facing this way, like the arrow is going out this way. So that gives the. I'll show you what I mean. It it means that the plane is facing the opposite direction. It's the face. It's facing this direction. It's important that it's facing it. Otherwise, the plane um it'll go through it. So let me demonstrate. So we, this is basically gonna block the plane the uh, the cape from going over the head. So let's make another cloud collider and change it at zero and zero. So this is gonna restrict it from going over the head. So now I'll just grab it into the body, like so. And we don't need to make it editable, so we can always change the thing. So now, as you can see, it's not going past that plane. So yeah, um, and if you rotate it around, like so, it will go straight through it. See, and it stops there. <laughs> um, so that's why it's important that you have to making it, make sure it's facing the right direction. So the axis has to be facing like that. So let's make another one, rotate it around, and then just position it right. Just make sure it's zero. Yeah, like that. Right there. So I like to be perfect. So. Mm. Let's put it right around there. Okay. So now we have the two colliders. Grab it in there, make sure they're red, like so. Just double click. And now we're done with the cape. So hit play. Oh, what's happening? Okay, nothing. Uh, why is that happening? Okay, I know why. Because I moved the collider too much. Yeah, okay. And it's still happening. I will fix the problem. <laughs> okay, so the problem was I didn't rotate this. <laughs> so now, okay, now it's good. So. Da -da -da -da. And hit play, and voila, we got the cape. Can always add some more colliders so that yeah, it can look better. Mm. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah.